little spirals at the corner of the mouth, these rather mournful eyes gazing into the distance. I think this is uh, an exact match. <coughs> There's so much. A design here for what looks like a modern ballistic missile. This anatomical drawing even has his fingerprint, but it ends with these dark, swirling images. These drawings of the great deluge destroying the earth and sweeping away all matter, capturing Leonardo's feelings of the impermanence of all things, and I think, looking back over his career, he must have seen it, by his own standards, as something of a failure. He failed to achieve so much. failure? Leonardo da Vinci? Yeah, so much of his sculpture and architecture and engineering was never made, his scientific researches were never finished, relatively few paintings completed. What he wanted to achieve far outstripped what he actually achieved. The man behind the Mona Lisa was a fountain of ideas, but so much of his work and his genius remained just an idea. David Salotto, BBC News. Genius isn't a word to bandy about, but we'll let him have that. We'll let him have that. Look, we're going to keep you up to date with what's going on in politics and lots of speculation and big hints that Theresa May is going to announce her resignation today or a departure date today. So we'll keep you up to date with that. Yeah, a real sense of inevitability this morning. It's coming up to eight o'clock. We'll get the news, the travel and the weather, wherever you're watching this morning. See you in a couple of minutes. Good morning. Sure. Good morning. breakfast. Some news just in. UKIP's Yorkshire and Humber MEP Mike Hookham has resigned as deputy leader of the party. He says he can no longer support the direction the leader of the party, Gerard Batten, seems to be taking. An industry expert says the future of steelmaking in Scunthorpe is bright because of its unique products and the government should do more to help. British steel collapsed after it failed to get financial support from the government. The government says that's because of strict rules on how it can bail out businesses and the priority now is finding a new buyer. The current uh, reputation of Scunthorpe is, is known around the world for its quality of steel making. It makes a big contribution to the national economy as well as the local economy. Uh, and for our industries of the future, they're going to need steel. Uh, and there is no better steel than British steel, which is why uh, I will do everything that we can to make sure that this uh, steel making continues uh, in Scunthorpe for many years to come. Police are renewing their appeal to help find missing North Yorkshire man Peter Brown. Peter's Why? been missing for more than two weeks and was last seen in Scarborough. His family and friends will be handing out leaflets over the bank holiday. Two of Yorkshire's biggest heritage railways fear that government measures to stop people burning coal could make it too expensive to run regular steam trains. The market for coal has declined in recent years and the railways say as the remaining UK pits close, they'll have to buy from abroad at double the cost. Jeffers proposed a ban on domestic burning of coal is a significant um, threat to the North Yorkshire Moor Drill. It's a financial threat. We could end, ultimately end up with a significantly smaller operation. And as such, our, our contribution to the economy of the North Yorkshire area, which is estimated about £45 million pounds a year, would be significantly reduced. The government says it understands the importance of heritage railways and it will set out more details later this year. Now on to some travel news in Lincolnshire, the A631 Queen Street Market is closing in both directions because of a building fire from Deer Street to Oxford Street. And we'll bring you much more on that fire in our later bulletins. Now here's Gillian Brown. Gillian Brown. Gillian Brown. Well, a dry, fine and bright day for Friday, so we've got some lovely weather ahead and today and tomorrow is really going to be the best. We've got some sunny spells and it's going to be feeling warm in that sunshine as well. And as you can see, a clear day. Look at that. Lovely. A few little bits of cloud drifting towards the east as we go through the day. The odd shower possible if you are near the coast, but nothing really to worry about. Highs of around 19 or 20 degrees. It really is going to be very pleasant indeed this afternoon and moving through into tonight. We'll see that cloud build a little bit, but there will be some breaks in that too. It might just bring the odd shower again near the coast, as you can see, but nothing really to worry about. And tomorrow, well, we're starting off lows of around 9 degrees or so in the morning. Moving through into Saturday, we'll see some more sunny spells as well. Highs again of around 19 degrees Celsius. Have a lovely weekend. That's all for now. Bye-bye.